hi, this is the Geek Father here with GVTV. We're part of the Geek Avengers, and we're here lucky enough to get time with Kevin Eastman, co-creator of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. How are you doing today? I'm doing fantastic, thanks. So when you started this, I mean, over 30 years ago, did you think that they would have the lasting power that they do, the impact they've had? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. No, in fact, uh, when Peter and I started the original comic book, we were just kids, we were geeks, we loved uh, Jack Kirby, we wanted to write and draw and tell our own story. So the fact that we printed and created and printed the first issue, we never thought would sell one single copy of the first issue. And the fact that I'm sitting here 30 years later still talking about turtles is the biggest compliment I feel unworthy of. And it's just fantastic. I get to be uh, a comic book artist, and I've been a comic book artist my whole life, and that's just a dream come true. I imagine it is. So when you got started, and you know you were first doing the comic, there probably weren't a lot of events like this, but now, 30 years later, you come to these and you get immediate fan interaction. Mm -hmm. And you get people who read the comic when they were kids bringing their kids, who are getting them into it. What's that kind of experience? Well, again, it's, it's, it's humbling. I feel unworthy. I feel it's fantastic because, especially in the early days, you know, would have, you know, fans of the comic book in the early signings, and then as the Turtles, you know, uh, got to do the animated shows and all that kind of stuff, would have all these parents that would come with their kids, and the kids would be excited to meet us, so the parents would give us this look like, do you know how many Christmas Eves I spent putting together those stupid turtle blimps, or how many turtle toys <laughs> I've stepped on on the way to the restroom in the middle of the night, and that kind of stuff, and now it's, um, all those kids that grew up now have kids, and so it's become generational now, and it's just been fantastic, so it's... You know, mom and dad, family, son, daughter, they're now enjoying the turtles again, and that's, that's pretty awesome. Yeah, I have an artist friend who just lost his mind when he got to meet you. He was like, oh, this is the greatest moment of my life. So what do you think is in the future for the turtles? Well, you know, that's always, you know, it's up to the fans. I mean, I feel like, you know, the fans came out the first time when we did the original comic book, and every step of the way, whether it be the original cartoon series or the movies that we did back in the early 90s and that kind of stuff, we could have made those movies if the fans hadn't supported them would be probably pushing shopping carts now or something. Um, and the fact that, you know, we started three years ago on the new IDW comic. Uh, I've been working for about four years on the new Turtle movie uh, and the new Nickelodeon animated show. It's, you know, again, we could have done the best job we could, but without the fans, we wouldn't have the success we had. So it's, it's, it's mind-blowing, and I'm forever grateful for all those fans. It's all your fault, fans, for making us, giving us the most awesome job in the world. No fans. We should be thankful that this man here created such an endearing property. It's lasted for so long. Thank you very much for your time. Great talking to you. All right, yes, sir. Thank you. Thank you.